Hello, I'm John Bachman. Jordan has unleashed its first wave of retaliatory attacks against ISIS. Take a look. Dozens of Jordanian fighter jets bombed targets in the ISIS stronghold of Raqqa and other parts of Syria today. Training camps and weapons storage sites were among the sites pounded. Jordan's king vowed a harsh response for the ISIS murder of a Jordanian pilot. Now, when it comes to the U.S.'s role in the fight against ISIS, House Speaker John Boehner says he is expecting to hear from the president very soon. I'm expecting that there, there will be an authorization of the use of military force uh, sent up uh, uh, here in the coming days. And uh, we're going to go through a rigorous uh, set of hearings and, uh, and continue to discuss this. Uh, so it may be a while, though. The White House does confirm that the request will be coming soon. The speaker says it will be up to the president to make his case to the American people as to why we're in this fight against ISIS. Now, the president had more to say about ISIS during this morning's national prayer breakfast. We see ISIL, a brutal, vicious death cult that, in the name of religion, carries out unspeakable acts of barbarism. Well, the president is getting some criticism for also pointing out that Christians once killed in the name of Jesus Christ. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell plans to try again after Democrats today blocked a Homeland Security funding bill for the third time. The measure passed 52 to 47, eight short of the 60 votes needed to advance. In addition to funding Homeland Security, the bill would also overturn President Obama's executive actions on immigration. Immigration. July jury selection is now underway in the trial of a man charged with murdering American sniper Chris Kyle. Eddie Ray Routh is accused of killing Kyle and another Iraq war vet during a Texas, on a Texas shooting range. Kyle talked to Newsmax in 2012 about the hard time vets have when they return. They think everyone who comes home has problems and then they don't even fully understand what goes on over there, that how horrific war actually is. That interview has now more than a million views on YouTube and also tonight Newsmax TV will air Chris Kyle, A Hero Speaks, a special one hour program telling the American sniper story in his own words and the words of those who knew him best. That's tonight on Newsmax TV at 8 p.m. Eastern. The follow from the Sony hacking scandal. Amy Paschal, the longtime head of Sony Pictures, is stepping down and will be launching her own production company. Paschal came under fire after hackers revealed private emails in which she made racially charged remarks about President Obama and his movie choices. She was also criticized for greenlighting the movie The Interview, which may have inspired those hackings in the first place. And a barber shop in Atlanta is offering kids a free shave of their hair if they misbehave. The barber decided that if his 12-year-old son wanted to act grown up and misbehave, he should look grown up too. So he made his son bald. And also other parents can publicly shame their kids with the, quote, George Jefferson haircut if they want to get too big for their britches. We'll have another Newsmax Now update coming up for you in another 30 minutes. Now back to the Steve Malzberg Show.